Hi friends, here is an elementary problem basis based on absolute function. We have this quadratic equation, absolute value of x whole square minus three times absolute value of x plus two equals zero. How many solutions does this have? Okay, so x square minus three times absolute value of x plus 2 equals 0. That is the problem. Right. Minus 3 times. Now, here one, one way is we can assume y equals absolute value of x. Then this equation will become y square minus 3y plus 2 equals 0. That means y square minus 2y minus y plus 2 equals 0. That means y times y minus 2 minus 1 times y minus 2 equals 0. That means y minus y into y minus 2 equals 0. That means y equals 1 or 2. That means mod x equals 1 or 2. That means, this also means, if mod x is 1, that means x can be 1 or minus 1. In both cases, mod x is 1, right? Similarly, x can be 2 or minus 2. There are four solutions, okay? This is one way of looking at this problem. Just assume mod x absolute value of x is equal to y and then solve for y and then again replace this absolute value of x and then find out what is x okay the other way is um, when absolute value of x when x is greater than zero then absolute value of x is equal to x this is the definition right x is greater than or equal to zero or when x is less than zero absolute value of x is sorry absolute value of x is equal to x absolute value of x would be minus x for example and x is minus 3 absolute value of x would be minus of minus 3 minus of min, minus of x x is minus 3 minus of x this is minus of x which is equal to 3 okay so now when x, this equation will split into two equations. When x is greater than or equal to 0, then this equation will become x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. This can be broken down into x minus 1 into x minus 2 equals 0, x equals 1 or 2. Okay. Otherwise, when x is less than 0, then this equation will become absolute, when x is less than 0, absolute value of x that becomes minus x, right, minus x whole square, minus 3 times minus x plus 2 equals 0. That means again, x square plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. That means x square plus 2x plus x plus 2 equals 0. That means x into x plus 2 plus 1 into x plus 2 equals 0. That means x plus 1 into x plus 2 equals 0. That means x equals minus 1 or minus 2. We have plus 1 plus 2 here, minus 1 minus 2 here. Okay. So, in both the cases, we are getting the same solutions. 1 minus 1, 2 minus 2. Here also 1 minus 1 and 2 minus 2. Whichever way you look at it, it's the same thing. Whether you split this equation into two parts and solve both of them separately or you replace this absolute value of x with some y and solve for this and then and then again whatever is this value of y you you find out what is x for that y okay both ways it will give the same solution right guys very simple very very simple problem this is based on absolute functions just that we need to have that conceptual clarity whenever we face this these kinds of these kinds of problems on absolute functions we just need to be careful and split into two equations when this function is greater than zero and whatever is it within the absolute value. If it is greater than or equal to zero or it is less than zero, then we can solve it straightforward. In some cases, you might not have this liberty, right? You might not have the liberty of replacing absolute value of x with y. In such cases, we, have, we will follow this methodology, the met methodology on the right side. Right, yes. Thank you.